What's going on guys? Welcome back to Patriot Considerations. Today we're going to be reviewing the BNT TP9. Uh, it's a pretty interesting gun. I wasn't a huge fan of it at first, uh, but once I, got, uh, once I got used to it a little bit, it kind of grew on me. On this gun, it does have a uh, proprietary suppressor mount right here. Uh, this is for the BNT specific cans. Uh, do not have one of those yet. Maybe sometime soon we will, but we'll see about that. Uh, on here, uh, the guy that got this gun, he is a wrong-handed individual. So this is set up for him to have his right hand here. charging handle and the trigger have been replaced on this with um, enhanced parts so the the trigger shoe itself is metal relieves some of that uh, flex and gets rid of that weird trigger safety thing that uh, they have from the factory and the charging handle is a much needed improvement uh, this one here is a big latch design it's not too big to snag on stuff but it's a lot easier to actually run unlike uh, the factory one which is like a little plastic nub thing you have to like grab onto from both sides and it's flexible and it'll like twist around on you uh, it's a pretty cool uh, folding stock design. You just press the uh, button in right here. You can actually fold the stock in and it latches. And you can shoot the gun while holding it just like this. It's pretty dope. So, um, when you swing it out, it gives you a nice, uh, well I don't want to say nice, but a, a decent cheek weld for, uh, for such a small light gun. As far as accessories go, we have an ACSS Cy Cyclops uh, 1X Prism from Primary Arms and a uh, Cloud Defensive MCH, uh, I believe this is a 2, right? Yeah, MCH2 light. Um, these are great lights, pretty decent optic. I've actually never shot with one to this extent uh, that we did today. We put about 500 rounds through this gun today. Um, did have some hiccups at the beginning. This gun is pretty much, for the most part, brand new. Uh, and once we got a couple hundred rounds in, the gun started running actually really smoothly, really nicely. Trigger started getting a little bit nicer. Uh, maybe that's just me getting used to it, but I do think that the uh, components are starting to wear into each other a little bit and it's starting to shoot really nice. All right, so the firing mechanism on this is actually pretty interesting. So when you are discharging a round, that round's gonna be going through the barrel. Uh, as it's going through the barrel and leaving the barrel, that barrel is going to actually rotate and cam over, pushing on the bolt face. When that bolt face comes back, it's got a fairly heavy spring on it, and it's going to pull back and it's going to cock an internal hammer. This is kind of like a, uh, a miniature bullpup in the sense that the hammer is behind where the trigger mechanism is. And there is a pretty long trigger bar mechanism in here, similar to like a Glock, that um, act activates that, uh, that sear and trips the hammer. So. As you can tell, this one is not full auto. Um, this gun was designed to be full auto. It'd be a lot more fun if it was, and uh, screw the ATF. Uh, these guns are pretty dope. I wish we could have full auto a lot more accessibly. This gun was designed to have a uh, angry swarm of bees approach. Uh, unfortunately, with semi-auto 9mm, kind of does kneecap you quite a bit. But uh, capacity, uh, these are 30 round magazines. Uh, you can get them in 30, I believe you can get 40s as, as well as uh, 20 rounders and then uh, 10 rounders for the uh, cucked states. Up. If you guys want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and uh, hit subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you want to see. I do have a lot of friends with a lot of guns like I've said before, uh, and we can make some pretty cool videos. So let me know and we'll talk to you later. Peace. So if you're into that kind of thing, um, let me know if you want to. Oh fuck! <laughs> you just said if you're for the cuck station, and let me know if you're into that thing. Let me know. <laughs> I just, I just want to oh, say no. you brought, you said two things together that shouldn't have been said yeah, together. Yeah. All right.